Welcome to German History with a German accent, my name is Wolf, W-O-L-F, just like the animal, and in today's video I'm speaking about Heinrich Eberbach. As always, if you enjoy these videos, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and don't forget to drop me a comment below. Heinrich Kurt Alphons Willi Eberbach was born on November 24, 1895 in Stuttgart in southwest Germany. At the age of 18, he joined the 10th Württembergisches Infantry Regiment No. 180, which was part of the army of Württemberg, ranked as a Fahnenjunker. The rank Fahnenjunker is specifically for soldiers aspiring to become officers, and by the way, this rank is still used in today's German military. Upon the outbreak of the First World War, Heinrich Eberbach, together with his unit, was transferred to the Western Theater and was wounded in October of the year 1914. In May of the following year, he became a company commander and was promoted to the rank of Leutnant. In 1916, Eberbach, while fighting in the Battle of the Somme, this battle lasted from July until November of the year, and was one of the biggest battles on the Western theater during World War I. Heinrich Eberbach was wounded again this time his injury included the loss of his nose, which was later medically reconstructed. At said battle, he was taken prisoner of war, and he was able to recover from his injuries in a Swiss hospital before he returned to, German, to the German Empire uh, in late 1917. In the year 1918, he returned to the military as a member of the replacement battalion of the infantry regiment number 122. In September of the same year, Heinrich Eberbach surrendered with his units to British troops. For his achievements during World War I, he was awarded both classes of the Iron Cross, the Wounded Badge in Black, as well as the Knight's Cross Second Class of the Friedrich Order. The Friedrich Order was a military order presented by the Kingdom of Württemberg for officers of their kingdom as well as officers of allied states, first instituted by Wilhelm I, King of Württemberg. In the interwar period, Heinrich Eberbach served as a police officer near his hometown Stuttgart before he rejoined the military in the year 1935. He first served in an anti-tank unit before he transferred into different tank regiments. As commander of Tank Regiment 35, under the command of the 4th Tank Division, Eberbach participated in the Poland Campaign in the year 1939. In the Poland Campaign, his units were responsible for executions of Polish prisoners of war. In the following year, together with his unit, he also participated in the West Campaign, supporting Hasso von Manteuffel's advance across the Maas River. For his efforts, in the West Campaign, Eberbach was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. After Operation Barbarossa was launched, this was the German code name for the Soviet campaign, Heinrich Eberbach was given command of the 5th Tank Brigade. During the advance onto Moscow, he demonstrated his abilities when his units broke through enemy lines with only very minimal losses of man and material and ultimately, kept, ultimately capturing the city of Orel. On December 31st, 1941, he also received the oak leaves to his Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross. In the following year, Heinrich Eberbach was first named commander of the 4th Tank Division, and in November 42, he was put in charge of the 48th Army Corps Motorized, with which he tried unsuccessfully to prevent the Soviet encirclement of German troops in the city of Stalingrad. After only a few days as commander of this unit, he was wounded and sent back to Germany to recover. Eberbach was appointed commander of the armored units in the replacement army in February 1943. In the same year, he was also promoted to the rank of General der Panzertruppe and returned to the front lines on the Eastern Theater before he was transferred to the French Theater to fight against the Allied invasion in Normandy. In Normandy, his units faced British troops that landed at Juno and Sword Beach, taking charge of Tank Group West, which would be renamed into 5th Tank Army. 
Out of this tank army that faced severe losses, Tank Group Eberbach was formed. In August of the year 1944, Heinrich Eberbach was part of Operation Lüttich with the goal to encircle Allied troops whom adva had advanced into German-occupied territory. This operation failed ultimately and led to an encirclement of the majority of the 7th German Army and Tank Group Eberbach in the Falais pocket. Heinrich Eberbach was able to escape captivity and received command over what was left of the 7th German Army before he became a, pr a prisoner of war on August 31, 1944. After the war, Heinrich Eberbach participated in the work for the U.S. Army Historical Division writing World War II operational studies for the U.S. Army. He died on July 13, 1992 at the age of 96 in Notzingen. Thank you so much for watching.